In this video, you'll see how efficient it is to design sound using Crowdsaw Studio Pro. Using a brief car chase scene in Pro Tools, you'll see how each sound was made. So let's jump in. So for this first scene, we're using the dry road tires preset. All I need to do is click inside the XY pad and it will start to generate the sound. And then I drag this down into my audio track. So the next thing we will add will be the engine sounds. So for this, I'm going to use the Opal preset. You can control the four different perspectives, engine, exhaust, back seat, driver's perspective. You can also blend between the vehicle sound and the ambience outside. So I'm going to find a suitable balance between engine and exhaust. And then I'm just going to drive the car using the drive macro dial. For this next section where we have the perspective shift from the wheel to the window, I am going to use the driving motion preset. I'm going to position the secondary XY pad so it's somewhere between the exterior of the car and the wheel casing to match the actual footage. Then I'm going to shift the perspective up to the windows and I'm going to do the same thing again. I'm going to drag this underneath. And then for this section, as we're shifting the perspective, I'm just going to move this crossfade over and this crossfade over. So when I play this back, it will start to fade from one to the other. So by dragging two of these files out of Crota Studio Pro, I've been able to crossfade one over the other for different perspectives as the camera's moving. So this section is for the interior of the police vehicle. I'm going to use the interior vehicle preset. Again, this all, when this starts to play back, you can choose between the slower speeds, fast speeds, and from between the passenger's perspective and the driver's perspective. And when I've got enough and I'm happy with my sound, I'm going to drag this into my project. The police car is a different car to the one that the perpetrator of this car chase is in. So I'm going to use a different preset for this. I'll go with the SUV Nissan. And again, we're on the inside of the car here. So I'm going to adjust this perspective to be in between the driver and the engine. And then I'm going to turn the drive up. Drag this in. And we can just follow this process for the rest of the project. So for this section, I'm back using this uh, a similar sound to what I have here, where we're outside the vehicle. And then for the last section, I've got the SUV Nissan, and we're outside. So I shift the perspective for this part from the driver and engine side in between the engine and the exhaust, because obviously we're at the back of the police car for this one. And of course, I could tweak this on the fly. And then I'll play this back. So it's really simple to make these kinds of sounds in Quota Studio Pro. If you was to do this manually with car engine and car vehicle sound effect packs, you would have to find the right speeds, you would have to find the right perspectives. Uh, whereas with Quota Studio Pro, these presets, you can get so many sounds. You can find a balance between the external ambience and the, and the sound of the actual vehicle itself. You can control the speed with a drive dial so you can get slow speeds, medium speeds and high speeds all out of the same preset. When you're happy, you can drag these into your projects directly onto your timeline, all ready for you to mix and add other sounds in. It should help simplify your workflow and make your sound designs much more efficient. So thank you for watching this video and tune in for the next one.